I am back. I know it's been a while and I really apologize for that. What happened was I got really sick and I had a fever. I was throwing up. I just wasn't feeling overall well and I couldn't really make my commentaries. I couldn't really play the game much. I just didn't have the energy. But now I'm feeling a whole lot better. I can't wait to play the game again. I have a lot of videos to upload for you guys which is all coming soon. I have a folder piling up as we speak right now. Um, I'll get right to it. Upload them all to YouTube as soon as possible. But anyway Anyways, a while back I was soloing early in the morning and I was experimenting with raps and as much as I fucking hate raps I decided to experiment with them because I wanted to see how frequently the spawns would swap when I called in raps and the reason for that is because there's been instances in the past where I would just like die to people spawning on top of me while walking down the hallway or some shit and I'll be on the nuclear streak or on the kill streak about to get my mothership or some shit and I just fucking die because the entire team decides to spawn on me and I'm like well I might as as well see how frequently the spawns swap so that way in the future I can prevent that I mean this game isn't all about gun skill it's also about knowing how shit works and what happens when you call in certain streaks and stuff like that it's paying attention to little details like that that will help you out in the future I mean yeah you can have all the gun skill in the world but if you don't know shit about the game or know how to work the maps or even know how to play properly you're just gonna end up losing all day or dying too much and you want less deaths not more death but anyways at the same time while I was experimenting with raps I was also developing crowd control tactic and by crowd control I mean limiting the opposing team's movement so they can't cap the objective and honestly I'll admit it raps is really good for that shit like when you call in raps I've noticed like hey like these fucking random ass kids they just like stare at the balls or run away they just allow the balls to kill them they're like so distracted on the kill streak itself that they don't even bother capping the objective and honestly I unintentionally got a nuclear and a hundred plus kills just from experimenting and I experiment quite often man like I get bored I try to see what attachments benefit on what guns stuff like that I mean I'm always coming up with new ways to like play pubs and new ways to play better stuff like that I mean it's just good to stay stay in touch with new strats and pay attention to what people do in the game because that's just how you win to be honest like you can't just do the same strategies the same stuff over and over again eventually people catch on to that and then they'll start doing it too or they'll start trying to prevent you from accomplishing your goal which is to win the fucking match to be honest but anyways i'm not here to talk about so much about the gameplay mostly here to bitch about something bigger than just raps and spawn swaps and dying off streaks to be honest something i want to see in the next call of duty pretty sure everyone hates supply drops come on let's be honest i mean supply drops were fine at the beginning of black ops 3 i'm not gonna lie when it was just cosmetic stuff and camos stuff that i really don't care about but that was nice to like see in the game and then eventually they started adding cod points they started fucking adding all this other bullshit like weapons and i'm just like wow man but like these weapons weren't that op at first it was just like the mx grand the shadow claw a couple melee weapons even though i hate getting fisted in the ass by my Mike Tyson and his brass knuckles or getting baseball bats shoved up my ass by Roberto Clemente stupid shit like that I mean I fucking hate dying to melee weapons I'm not gonna lie like when I die to a melee weapon I think of a five-year-old fucking fat kid that sits in this room all day and just like takes his mom credit card to buy cod points and just troll around with it that <laughs> I don't know, like honestly the melee weapons are kind of gay in a way. But it's not like, it's not as bad as the Marshall 16, the new plasma weapons, or whatever you want to fucking call them, energy weapons. I mean, fuck man, even the Shadow Claw is pretty gay. I mean, there's been instances where I'll pop kinetic armor, and I'll get one-shotted by the fucking Shadow Claw, man. It's like not even fair, it's like, why, why is a fucking arrow breaking through kinetic armor? That's like impossible. But it's whatever, man, like, I hope that shit's not in the next Call of Duty, and even the RNG system to get these new guns aren't fair i have 41 days played and i still don't have everything to this day i still don't have everything in the game and i'm still grinding out crypto keys man struggling to get the new weapons especially the new fucking plasma weapons or whatever you want to call them because i just can't seem to get them everybody else seems to get them but i feel bad for the kids who only have an hour or two to play this game they'll probably never get their hands on the new weapons unless they fucking pay to win a wallet warrior the way through i mean shit you can probably spend thousands 
thousands of dollars and still not get anything. I mean, the other day I came across a YouTube video. Some dude spent $2,000 on fucking supply drops, man. I'm not even kidding you. $2,000 and he got no weapons out of that shit. And I was just like, well, fuck. If that was me, I'll be so fucking pissed. $2,000 down the drain on supply drops. And to be honest, I wouldn't even pay for that shit. I mean, it's just like, I know the marketing technique behind it. I mean, the RNG system is so unfair that they want you to give them your money, to be honest. And it's not even a guaranteed drop. Not a guaranteed drop. I mean, it would be all cool and all if they just kept the cosmetic shit. But once they added the weapons, man, kind of began, kind of began to like, you know, shift over to pay to win a bit. Because, I mean, when they add one-shot weapons to that shit, it's just so unfair, man. I mean, the other day I got cross-mapped by a fucking Banshee on Hunted and I was just so fucking angry about that. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Isn't that a shotgun, not a fucking AR? I don't even know man like that shit shouldn't be in the game to begin with be honest with you like I don't even want to see that shit if you're gonna fucking release new weapons either put them in the map packs or sell them separately from everyone else like they'll even put them in supply drops but I mean when you have fucking people paying for that shit you're just like encouraging them to even keep the system in the game and it's not even Activision anymore doing this it's like all these other game developers are starting to fucking add supply drops to their game like logged into Company of Heroes 2 the other day one of my favorite rts games of all time and guess what i see guess guess what i see fucking supply drops man i'm just like really and then, since it's the summer steam sale or whatever i get to buy some supply drops for fucking company of heroes 2 of course i didn't i'm not stupid enough to do it i know the marketing technique behind that but still why are game developers adding that shit to the fucking games man it's just so stupid and then there's like this other game i bought recently it's called shattered skies it's like daisy but if you give them more money you can get like supply drops and shit and the, some of the weapons you get out of that shit is so fucking unfair like i was getting fucking melted by kids who got like fucking legendary weapons out of supply drops and i'm just like are you fucking kidding me i should fucking wallet warrior too i really fucking sure but you know what i'm just not gonna fall for their little marketing technique because why just why am i gonna encourage that to game developers that want to add that shit to their game i mean i understand they're trying to make money i understand it's working because i I know a lot of people that buy supply drop all the fucking time. I mean, I have a friend of mine who has every gun in the game because, you know, he fucking bought supply drops and wasted probably over $300. And that's just luck. I mean, the kid that wasted $2,000, the kid didn't get jack shit from his fucking $2,000, to be honest. No weapon whatsoever. And he got a couple of duplicates, I think. And he was pretty upset about that. I mean, shit, I would be too. $2,000 is $2,000. I mean, the only amount of money I've given fucking Activision for COD points is 20 bucks, And that's back when the, the MX Grand was a new thing and it was like one of the first weapons out and I was like oh well I'll just buy some COD points and hopefully I get it but the moment I didn't get anything I was upset man I was like wow I just wasted 20 fucking dollars I didn't get shit and it's like those people out there that just keep giving them money until they get what they want it's like going to the mall man like you see something nice you want to buy you fucking buy it you know like you just buy it on the spot because it looks cool and it looks nice or like you just really want it same concept with cod points the guns look cool or they look nice or you really want to use it which encourages you to buy cod points which really kind of sucks to be honest how if you guys don't want to see supply drops in the next game, don't give them any more of your money. It just encourages game developers, it encourages Activision. Because if their marketing technique is working and people are buying the COD point, then guess what? We're going to see it in the next game. And there'll most likely be an overpowered weapon in the fucking supply drop. And then we'll be forced to fucking pay to win and wallet warrior our way through. And I don't want that to be the future of Call of Duty, man. Like, I love fucking Call of Duty right now. I love Black Ops 3 better th than, like, the last two Call of Duties they released. I'm I mean, look at Advanced Warfare, how shitty their supply drop system was. I mean, you got guns with extra damage on it because you got the better rarity, and, and that just in itself is not fair. I mean, I don't want to see that in the future, man. I really fucking don't. So if you guys don't want to see supply drops, quit buying them. To be honest, that, that's just the way it should be. Just don't buy them at all. And then, like, next thing you know, they'll be like, oh, my marketing technique isn't working. Well, we'll just try, try and do it differently then. That's just the way they think, and then there'll be no more supply drops, and the end. But anyway, guys that's the end of my bitching that's the end of my rant for just supply drops if you guys like the video hit that like button if you're new to this channel subscribe you guys are awesome make sure to favorite and comment as well see you guys in my next video or in game i'm finally back thanks for all the support thanks guys see you guys in my next video or in game take care